Hi guys, hey, welcome to this reading, the Earth Prediction series using the Psy cards, which were devised by the system of collective consciousness that Carl Jung put into format all those years ago. I'm not exactly sure how long ago. Um, we usually draw six cards from this deck and analyse each of the energies that the cards seem to represent. I do think that they're a changing energy and that not all of the dimensional um, aspects of the cards have yet been worked out either. So let's pull six of them and see what's in store for November 2016. The first card is destruction and I'm going to just leave the others face down and we will turn them over one at a time. Makes it a bit more of a mystery. So destruction, it is very similar to the original tarot um, tower card, not particularly pleasant, a rather gruesome looking affair in particular that one there. It's probably worse looking than the tarot deck. A burning tower with um, bodies uh, fighting bloodied and horrible at the bottom of it. So it is a card of destruction at many levels. So we talk about physical destruction with buildings in particular and quite often towers. And this card has even turned up before when literally big towers have been involved in fires, oddly enough. So hopefully that won't happen. Um, also the warring people at the bottom, so wars could spike up and become more prevalent. Although to be honest, let's face it, practically the whole world is fighting one way or another against each other. So whether it's physical arm-to-arm -arm combat such as in the Middle East or other terrorist activities, we have this potential um, issue against North Korea, Russia, America, China, um, the, U, the UN, the, the whole thing is just very much in this feeling at the moment where we seem to be on the precipice of a, um, angst and unsettlement and destruction. So you'll see destruction possibly increase in this month of November coming and for various reasons as I say. So we'll just wind that back out a little bit. Let's see what the second card is, everyone. Ooh, the libido. Okay, those two together, I would term probably the most powerful in the deck. The libido is the, the raw force of energy at the core level of life. You know, it's, it's where we stem the beginning of energetic creation from. So it's a powerful card that exemplifies strong sudden surges of energy. It can be in reference to something like war energy or terrorist energy or activity and it can also represent the energies of weather patterns around the globe. We see this pouring water fall down here so sometimes it indicates really strong surging currents of water that can be um, brought about from um, heavy weather events such as cyclones or typhoons or just massive storm surges um, so shoreline ingresses heavy heavy rains mudslides um, things like that that can be happening the, thing, the other thing that the libido can represent is actually a very large in mass type of event or celebration. And I think of Halloween coming up in it, um, literally in a few days, and this can often represent those type of energies around the globe as well. So the enactment or the engagement of many people at a celebratory level. So there could also be something else in various countries around the globe that are engaging in some sort of really large-scale happy or celebratory events. The other thing that the card tends to mention to us is about animals and again I have mentioned this before that we 
see many more mass animal die-offs on the planet that's becoming a more and more common or frequent occurrence. So the next card, the skills card, getting a lot of green there and sort of grass type um, looking energy coming in but the skills often represents to me two things again warring because those are uh, weapons of war they're artillery and also things coming from space because those arrows have been shot up and then have come down again so we can assume that sometimes this means things coming down from space such as meteorites or asteroids or you know, new ones being found, comets going past that we haven't uh, previously known of, or comets that head towards the sun and do a sun diving comet. So it, it is often events or new information pertaining to space and celestial bodies that we are either learning new information about or traverse past us one way or another as well as what I've said about the warring factor. It would seem to me, from the beginning of this reading, that November would appear to be quite a turbulent month, yet I'm not entirely sure that I've heard that coming through from many other areas or other astrology realms. So we'll just keep going with these cards. The tree, yeah, so here we are back down with the kind of earthy grassy effect which is what I said just a few minutes ago so the tree is an interesting one we often think of forests or trees literally and so sometimes this can mean something happening to our forests globally there could be mass forest fires or something that affects that realm of our life and again this is one of the cards that I don't think has been explored to its full potential what it can indicate, because there's a very red background in there, is um, heat, so really hot and dry or burning. Um, it can also represent family trees, so sometimes this refers to an issue that goes back within a family generation and something going on within the family lineage or tie-ups. So we wonder, you know, this was generally becomes headline news globally or something. So there'll be something come up about maybe families that are currently already well known or political or movie star type issues and then their family tree is altered or dispersed or mucked about one way or another. So that's an interesting card that, as I said, I don't believe has its full... Um, interpretation in line yet. Well, well. <laughs> two lots of grass together and two lots of trees. So we're definitely talking about Mother Earth one way or another. So do we get new information about what the planet's going through or how we are mucking up our, you know, with our CO2 and our climate change and our heating on the planet do we hear new information about how hot it's actually getting it's hot it's heating up quicker than we had first believed and there are more negative implications it's kind of got that type of feel about it the scales card um, again we're talking about this family tree issue so there's definitely something popping up there that's probably going to be surprising or um you know, like catches people go, oh my God, is that real? Is that really how this has all been working? It also brings to mind the scales card. Uh, the scales weight there hanging off the tree is about balance or the lack thereof. So it definitely feels like November seems out of kilter or out of whack somehow. Now I know for America you have your, um, your election coming up where you're about to elect your new president. So whether or not there's turmoil around that, we can certainly see for now there is still this wild swinging from, you know, you might have thought Trump was out of the race, now he's kind of back in. So there's a lot still going on there and it hasn't been put to bed yet. So maybe some of this is information that comes out, who knows. But there's definitely a lack of balance and it needs to be brought back into line. The other thing I think about the scales for some reason, it's because probably there are apples on the ground that have fallen, 
bit similar to this over here, but I think of the scales card as shaking and possibly meaning quakes. Now it looks to be those are harvesting fruits, so sometimes that uh, indicates autumn, which is the northern hemisphere at the moment. Um, previously this card has usually come out when it's been in the southern hemisphere for our autumn and the card has usually referred to shaking down here. So I have to just watch this one and see does it mean big quakes in the northern hemisphere? We have to wait and see. Today there have been two relatively large quakes in Italy. Right, let's see what the last one is. Oh, that's actually quite a gruesome month. Well, from the energy of the cards that have come out. So the stranger, he definitely is someone who has a hidden agenda, who is bringing out something that's been hidden behind a door, literally. And it could pertain to either um, Earth-related information, such as our climate change or our global warming, warming or... Um, there's something that's coming to mind, the information about Planet Nine, or how a lot of people call it Planet X, or Nibiru. It, it definitely is there, and they're very close to finding its exact alignment position. So there could be information coming out about that and its pathway. There could also be information coming out about... Um, this week there has been a mention that there are certain stars that astronomers are tracking in the galaxy that are permeating uh, unusual patterns which they believe to be intelligent signals. So we could get more information around issues like this that are quite destabilizing in many ways. But the stranger also reminds me of a communist figure. He has a, a glove on his hand, so you think of the iron glove, that communist term. So we think of North Korea, um, Russia or China doing something slightly unusual or, or more agitated. So there we are guys. I may have left some, some meanings out, but if I have I'll add them on to the video in the form of annotations. So if any of you have any other ideas or I, um, thoughts to add to the meanings of the cards or whatever pops into your mind, leave it below in comments because it's always great to hear everybody's particular ideas. In the meantime, have a great November. Be safe and be happy and stay in tune everyone. Thanks for subscribing and liking and it's lovely to be in touch with you all. Much aroha. Namaste.